eat like an animal. Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. Bro. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Protein! Bring the protein! Woo! <laughs> you look big as hell, bro. What are you hitting on those squats? The key to optimizing growth and getting the most amount of muscle mass is going to be... If you're bulk, you can't be in this. You're bulking. Bulking? You can't be in Dairy Queen if you're bulky. You got to go straight cut cold turkey, none of that bullshit. Straight protein. Dairy Queen, sweets, get out of here. You got to be strict on the diet. You're going straight fucking gains and protein. This will just get you fat because if you don't cold turkey, you'll be like, oh, let's have a little cheat day. No, you can't have cheat days because once you have one, you're going to have more and more and more. It happens to me. It happens to all of us. You're going to use the bulking excuse. Oh, it's okay. I'm bulking. Let me just have some Dairy Queen. Let me just have some sweets, brownies. It happens to me. You got to have low calorie anabolic foods that are tasting good. Can't get caught lacking here, boys. No, no. We be strict on the bulk. Good morning, baby. This is Vince Aesthetic, and you're back watching the craziest YouTube fitness channel on YouTube. Like two years of working out and training, I've gained just low key straight muscle, no fat. And it comes along with many other factors like eating lower calorie foods, eating higher protein, getting in your cat emojis. Just kidding, not that one, but training hard, etc. There's a bunch of tips and tricks that I'm gonna show you in this video. So prepare. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys are excited to watch another video. Again, every Monday and Thursdays. Let's get it, boys. This is how different people go into the gym when you're not a member. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go get a quick little bit of And how's your day today? Good? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, you pretend like you're friends and shit when you're really not. If you guys have done this in the past, let me know, because I definitely have. Phone call is my go-to. Like, I just pretend like I'm on a phone call, and I walk right in that, Jonathan. All right, guys, so first thing I'm going to give you guys is got to be active. You know, like, we hit the gym and shit, but that can't be our only thing of the day. And I know some of us is. It's, like, the best part of our day, but we got to be a little more active. Even after your first meal, go on a nice little walk. There's two types of ways I burn some calories. You know, cardio, if you know what I mean, and just walking and shit. Like I'm saying, like we want to be burning calories, not OD. Like we're not trying to run eight miles every day and shit. Nice little walks in between meals. Really utilize your food. It's important that you're just not sitting inside, guys. I mean, even going outside, it's good for the brain. It's good to get dopamine in the system and shit. We're getting them jacked as fuck. You look big as hell, bro. What are you hitting on those squats? Well, young man, you gotta keep playing me and him. That's 65. Y'all look big as shit. I thought I gained 30 pounds of straight muscle, bro. You guys are on some other shit. I'm telling you. My guess is you're on trend, you're on testosterone. Am I right? No, uh, I think you're wrong about both. Hey, you know what? I do need a good shot of testosterone. Facts! Would you take trend to get huge? I hear so many bad things. Yes or no? No. Shit! All right, would you take testosterone or trend? Testosterone. You take testosterone. Testosterone king. So that gets me thinking, guys. I am natural, okay? I am not on trend test. I'm not on that shit. I'm 18 years old. So this video is going to actually help you guys, all the younger audience like me, because we're here to get big naturally. We can't take trend and test. Our parents will kill us. It's really important that you listen to these steps. We're going to finish up our walk, and then let's get into our meal, and then let's go hit the gym, baby. Woo! And when you were younger, were you fat or skinny? Skinny. Did you ever bulk to get no. muscle? So you were never blasting trend and shit? No. Do you eat protein and shit? Because that's a key. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Protein. Yeah, and I protein. eat. I always split a meal when I go out. Okay, so you're and balancing, portioning out. That's how you lose weight, people. That's right. That's right. That is the shit. Right. Some carbs, because it's good for the glycogen exactly. and, shit and the gains. But protein, low calorie shit, that's how you get gains, baby. That's right. Let's go. Bye. 67. What? Get the hell out of here, bro. You're on testosterone. Hey. You changed my mind. Yeah, right. You're on testosterone. Oh. You are not natty, bro. You can't eat like a fat fuck if you're trying to like low-key like recomposition. Recomposition is when you lose fat and gain muscle. That's some bullshit though. You, you don't need to portion your shit out. I'm gonna show you low-calorie meals to where you don't have to portion them out. You can eat them all and you'll just be gaining straight muscle. We just did our daily green wise run. You know the body. They sample like these shakes and shit. So I'm like, which flavor is this one? They said chocolate strawberry protein. Chocolate strawberry protein today, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this shot. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go, baby, for the protein. 
Tell me that's not lit. I'm gonna get you some fucking protein. I'm gonna see you around and I'm gonna give you some protein and shit. Okay. Bro. I'm gonna hook you up. Okay, I won't drink it though. Why? Because I don't do dairy. Ah, uh, shit, bro. You can't get the gains. And they said protein. I was like, fuck y'all. Ration, give me the whole thing. Fucking yeah. give me that whole sandwich. Shit. If you're telling me you wanna get fucking big and you don't eat protein, you gotta be mentally like fed up or something. Like, are you kidding me? Protein is the shit. You wanna get big, eat protein like a dog. No questions asked. We need to talk about getting your maintenance calories so we could scale what you should be eating because you gotta be tracking. If you wanna take this shit legit and you actually wanna lose weight and gain muscle, you gotta be taking this legit. So I'm gonna show you what to do to get your maintenance calories for your body so then you're just cranking protein, cranking muscle, and losing weight. When I started working out, I've never wanted to be fat, so I think this is like the most optimal thing to do and this is why I wanna make this video. I like literally like stayed lean year round as growing muscle. Like that's like everyone's dream when you start off. You wanna lose weight, you wanna gain muscle. So I think these tips are gonna work great for you. All right guys, so this is gonna be how to get your maintenance calories. This is the key to tracking, to see how much you should be eating so you're not gonna gain too much fat or you're not gonna get too much skinny and go catabolic. We don't want that. Once you search up calorie calculator, you're gonna plug in all your shit, like your weight, your height, your age. It's gonna give you different categories. Maintenance calories, mild weight loss, weight loss, and extreme weight loss. Now this shit is not super accurate. It's pretty accurate but it's not like completely accurate so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to mild weight loss and you're gonna subtract 250 calories from that 2733 that is it that is how much you should be eating daily so once you have 2700 calories you're gonna basically be tracking that and you're gonna be eating that much every day and for protein the shit we love so however much you weigh add 25 more grams to that so if you weigh 160 you want to be eating 185 grams so I weigh 185 pounds I'm gonna be eating 205 grams of protein daily with 2,700 calories matching that. And that is gonna basically recomp me, but I wanna to talk to you how to track and shit. Like with tracking calories, you just like have a food scale and like you just look at the grams and shit. So like this, this is five calories per five grams. So you just squirt out five grams and then you could plug it into an app like MyFitnessPal. You could set up your goal, 2,700 calories, that's the goal. And then as you add your food, it'll slowly equal up and you could see your, how much grams of protein you're at, etc. So that's like the easiest way to do it. But track your shit, don't eat too much. And remember, protein goal, protein, protein, protein. That is the key to muscle growth and holding on to your fullness. Welcome back to the most anabolic kitchen there is, Vince Aesthetics Kitchen. Today, all you fat boys out there that love to eat like me, I am here to show you guys the lowest calorie foods that you can eat, stay on track, that are gonna taste fire. Because when it comes to dieting, the key is to eating meals that taste good, that remind you of the good food that you used to eat when you like weren't on a diet. So, welcome to my kitchen. First things off, if you don't got sugar-free shit, you're lacking. Sugar-free syrup, diet sodas, that's what you do. Fat-free Ready Whip. You could rub this shit on your girl's titties and go, no cap. We need carbohydrates for a good workout. You guys can't be doing that shit. Like, you actually gotta be tracking. I've leveled up. You guys can't be like just eating like that. You gotta actually track your shit. Sometimes, you know, you gotta binge out a little bit. It happens to the best of us. But that was Kodiak pancakes. Don't get it twisted. Protein, baby, protein. All right, yo, if you don't have a food skill, cups will work and shit. Get yourself Kodiak cake mix. Any flavor will work. I'm doing the cinnamon. Serving size is one third cup, 53 grams, 190 calories. <laughs> 35 seconds. Now you're saying, Vince, what do you do when we wait? Cakey, but also watery in the middle. That is what you want. Protein! To make this shit extra anabolic, you do one scoop of protein powder. You don't want to do a full scoop, because before you work out, that is OD. You want your body to digest and absorb the carbs, so protein takes long for your body to absorb. That's why people say eat it, because it makes you feel fuller. You don't want a full scoop, you want a, a half a scoop. What's more, half a quarter? Hey, what? A more? Half a quarter? Um, half or a quarter. So. A half, a half. Half, half is like 50, yeah. The fuck is that little shit amount? Fuck that shit, bro. I'm going to know that, baby. We're getting protein today. Five calories per five grams. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's five calories. Sugar free syrup. Can't forget about this shit.
I'll be sure to rub this on my girlfriend later. 310 calories for this beautiful, low calorie, high protein tasting meal that's gonna taste amazing. Bro. Bro. This is 36 grams of protein for 310 calories. That ratio is crap. Like you love to eat, you can't stop eating, you have one taste of ice cream, one taste of like chips, and you can't stop. So that's why this is important because it keeps you on track, it tastes fire, and it's low calorie. So you're able to substitute this with something like a whole freaking case of Oreos. This is gonna keep you on track more and help you lose more weight. Remember to put on your deodorant before the gym. Y'all be stanking and shit. If you stank and your gym crush ain't gonna like you. See him? He fucking stinks. He's a reeker, yo. You go to the gym and get a pump with him, he will smell you out so fucking bad, you'll be like, I don't even know this guy. You know how many times I had to be like this? Yeah, he's not with me. Stay, you forget your glasses. <laughs> you never heard to the gym. Press the girls. I know. Never let the girls know your next move. Exactly. There's a hot girl with a nice ass. Got these glasses on, you can't see which one my eyes are looking. Dude, if I don't make it home, I swear to you, I think I just quadruple scooped that shit. Cheers. Like, come on, bro. When you're fucking sick, who doesn't love a pump? A juicy pump. You're sweating. You're feeling good. There's girls. Your dopamine will be through the roof. Oh, shit. He's doing the single hand. Oh, shit, bro. Now that's what I'm talking about. When I gained muscle over the past years, you know, like, I literally just gained straight muscle. And he was with me. He was my day one gym bro. So what would we do? Tell him. Like, give him a rundown in three different simple, simple ways. What would we do? One, track your calories. It was active lifestyle. We were literally at parties. We were just running around. You can't be sitting in your room, like, doing bullshit. And three, is go hard in the gym. Back. Fucking lift. There's no such thing as overtraining, really. I always try to like not just like sit inside on one day, like either try to do core, like a little bit more cardio on a Sunday or your rest day. We should dead ass daily vlog. Fuck around, eat low calorie foods, track our calories, get big as fuck, entertain you, educate you, and get bitches. Go out on weekends and shit and just have fun. You wanna get big? You gotta work out what? You can't be sitting out. No, no, I'm tired, Vince. You gotta fucking work out and you gotta eat like an animal. Oh, you can't, you can't tell me I'm tired and shit. Go sleep then. No, we don't do that shit. We get big. Every day. This is how you talk to a woman. The key is to not give a fuck. So she went out last night, right? What the fuck was she doing out last night? She got an alpha male right here. Fuck. She thinks I like her too. I don't like shit. <laughs> fuck, I'm a fucking Vincent Lennon. Oh. Hello. Yo, dumbass. <laughs> what are you doing, dumbass? <laughs> Of course you did. You were blacked out last night like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Think this is a joke? Like a little treesh. A little treesh. You're so mean. So what's good with you? You were just getting with boys, treeshing around last night like a usual Saturday night? No, I wasn't. Yeah, okay. I'm going to the fucking gym. Dumbass. Vince is steady, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, fuck a girl, bro. Go to the gym. Increasing the weight because what the fuck do you do when you fucking want to gain muscle? You increase the weight and progressive overload. Biggest thing, if you want to train like a dog, get stronger, just increase the weight after every set. and stay small or you could fucking put more weight on, eat like an animal, and keep growing. You can't be eating shit. 
You're gonna bloat up, you won't look good in your bulk. You won't gain muscle. You'll just gain fat with a little muscle. And that's what I haven't done, and that's why I labeled this title, How I Gain Straight Muscle. Eating clean foods, lots of it, 300 under maintenance and training like a dog. People be like, oh, I don't sweat in the gym. Like, what the fuck is that shit? What do you mean you don't sweat? That means you're not working hard enough. I don't care. Oh, I just don't sweat in the gym. That's bullshit. Fucking push yourself. When you push yourself past your limits, your heart rate is beating so fast that your body has to let out sweat. No cap. So you're just not training hard enough. Simple as that. Alright guys, so pull ups is great when you're bulking. When we're eating a little more calories than usual, it's important that you're doing body weight exercises so you're controlling your weight. You're not gaining too much fat and weight, which is a reason why people are so fat. They can't control and move their weight. Quick hour training session. You don't need to be training like for three hours if you're just pushing yourself and going till failure. Now I need some protein. Do you love protein? Because I love protein. I love protein. Me too, I fucking love protein. It's the key to muscle. I fucking love protein. I, I love protein. Me too, I fucking love it. The only thing is, you got more protein. Feel that, feel I that. I don't have protein. Woo! <laughs> That's fucking protein, baby. That's protein. <laughs> 330 calories for this whole thing, all right? When it comes to bulking and optimizing as much muscle as you can, you're not gonna wanna waste your calories on bullshit like this. The key to optimizing growth and getting the most amount of muscle mass is gonna be from vitamins, minerals, all the nutrition from good foods. If you really wanna take this seriously, you gotta be eating good foods throughout the day. You don't wanna fill up on halo top and bullshit. And then at night, guys, if you have like a little sweet tooth, don't cheat and be like, oh, I'm gonna bulk, I can fit Dairy Queen in. Don't do that shit. You're gonna feel like shit, the sugars are so bad for you have like a few bites of halo top a whole pint if you want i don't care but remember fill up on good foods guys that's the key if you want to get shredded you want to gain muscle follow these tips that i've showed you in these videos train like a dog you guys are capable of doing anything keep it aesthetic you know how the fuck we do it baby i'm going I'm fucking ready to go crazy right now eat your protein eat your puss push more weight pull more bitches i love you guys keep getting big keep bulking but also get shredded and remember to hit your calorie goal and protein goal love you guys let's do it boys